guys, it's Jason. Today's date is August 22nd, 2012. Guys, I'm bringing you an article today in regards to um, solar flares. And uh, this article is from Daily UK. And uh, it's dated for August 22nd, 2012, which is today. And it's entitled, Government Advisors in Fight to Save Earth Against Devastating Solar Storms Expected to Knock Out National Grid in 2013. Now, I ain't going to read all this article, but I'll skim through it a little bit. It says, National Grid and GPS expected to go down if burst from sun hits our planet. Sun will reach peak of 11-year solar storm next year, and the magnetic storms could knock out most of Earth's electrical items. A big storm in 1859 knocked out early telegraph systems, but the world is much more dependent on electricity now. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. It says a space professor from Oxshire is battling to save Earth from a solar storm that expects fear will wreak worldwide chaos next year. Professor Mike Hapgood, who chairs the Space Environment Impacts Experts Group and advises the government on space weather, says solar storms generated by an outburst from the sun are set to knock out our national power grids and global positioning systems. He believes magnetic rays from the storm will result in widespread blackouts, which will plunge homes and businesses into darkness. It could also potentially knock out effects for insane if hydroelectric dams holding back millions of gallons of water are knocked offline. Early next year, the sun will reach the peak of its 11-year activity cycle, which puts the planet at greater risk of such storms. And experts say with the planet now relying on the internet and high-tech gadgetry, the chaos caused by the 2013 solar storm will have a far greater impact than any in the past. Professor Hapgood, who studied Oxford, warned a big magnetic storm can permeate the Earth's crust, which can drive electrical currents through the aluminum or copper wires in the national grid, which would cause a national blackout. Interactions with Earth's atmosphere can also affect any radio signals. If you had a big storm, GPS might be unavailable for a couple of days. On July 21st this year, there was a very large event on the far side of the sun. It had intercepted Earth. We could have had a large magnetic storm. All manner transport relies on GPS, including aircraft, and if the system suddenly collapsed, there could be lethal consequences. He said, my main interest is to study the likely extremes of these scenarios. There are enormous events that could have a very significant impact on G GDP. The national grid now relies on warnings from spacecraft carrying equipment built by at the Rutherford, and they are developing plans on how to involve. But it just goes in here a little bit more detail. So they're talking about these solar storms, guys. As you can see, I posted many videos on this uh, solar flares, massive solar flares, M-class, X-class solar flares that have been bombarding the Earth majorly since last year. And you can see that the activity is, is continued to pick up and get worse. And uh, the beginning of next year, springtime, is our solar maximum. So this is pretty much petty what we've been going through now to what we're going to experience from here on out to the beginning of next year sometime in spring so this is uh this is just a heads up but i'll include this link in the uh, info box below i hope you guys are having a great week and all is well if you have any questions just feel free to holler at me see ya god bless